rescue dog. How did that go this weekend? Charlotte the Chihuahua rescue dog, which is the one that's nine weeks old that we found in the alley. So listen to this. We, we took her to a home. Uh, uh, a girl uh, wanted her. And my wife went and met with him and gave the dog to her. The girl calls back the next day and says, she's not getting on with my dog. I have to give her back. Aww. So we take her back. And it's funny how things work out. I put a picture, a video of her on. I don't know if you saw the video. She's the cutest so cute. damn dog. It's like hopping along. Who's a pretty girl. <laughs> and she's like a, she looks like a, a deer that was just born. The way she, it's just the cutest little she chihuahua. Found. Ever. Yeah, she's such a cute dog. This family reached out. A bunch of people tell me they want her. And they private message me. And I go on and decide to click and look at all the pictures. And I meet this family, and we decided to go meet them in an In-N-Out parking lot. And it's a mom and a dad and the three kids. After talking to them, and they have a chihuahua. After talking to them, they tried to have babies. They couldn't have babies, so they went through the adoption process. And they have three kids that are all adopted. Um, they explain each kid's story. They're, they were there all for the birth of all their kids. And they tell this amazing story. And we have this chihuahua, and we give her the chihuahua. And the chihuahua just jumps on and loves the family. And you can see this connection right oh, away. Oh, that's in this in and out burger parking lot. And I'm and talked to this family for a long time. And then um, they sent me a picture. I put it on my Instagram as well. And you could see uh, the three kids that are all adopted and they're very open about their adoption with the two chihuahuas and then the one chihuahua. So she found a home and I guess um, she reached out to my wife last night and said that the dogs are all getting along great and everyone's happy. And it's oh, awesome. that's good. Yeah, so I, it was cool to have to find this dog. Cause let me tell you something what I've noticed too. You guys know this. You guys know me for a while. I'm no stranger to finding dogs That's and trying true. to find homes for dogs. And one of the things I realize is these rescue organizations that are out there, they're so hard to get. They're so hard to accept dogs. Oh, really? I mean, I would take all the dogs I have and give it to them, but they don't take them. They don't just take dogs. I don't, I don't understand. What are their parameters that I don't you can't know. get through? It's very difficult. And how many times have we got messages from people going, I have this dog, but they won't, the rescue places won't take them? Yeah, that happens like, a lot. Who? Who are the rescue people? What are, why won't they take the dogs? Are they at capacity or something? I have no why idea. So there's selective? somewhere along the line there, there's some sort of scam going on with these rescue organizations. Because I can't tell you how oh, many man, people have found all those calls. How many people have found dogs and have messaged me and said, I found his dog, but they won't take him at this rescue place. And then I'll say, well, try this place. I did. They won't take the dog. So I'm like, okay, give me the dog because I tend to find homes for him. You know what I mean? You do. It's weird. But anyway, if you want to see... Two things that are really cool on my Instagram is this family that took the Chihuahua. That's at John J. Van S. And then Taylor Swift favorited my tweet. That's up on my Instagram at John J. Van S.